Hello, YouTubers, and welcome to the start of a brand new Let's Play in our One More Marathon Marathon. We're playing Persia. I love me some Persia. Y'all probably know that if you've been following this channel uh, for any amount of time. Uh, we have we have great potential with both, both domination and culture. I have gone out of my way to show off culture Persia stuff in previous years, previous playthroughs. Uh, and so I think what the plan, the, the the core plan for this game is to utilize Fall of Babylon and try to do very, very quick domination stuff. I want to test my uh, my ability to start it with cultural, uh, sorry, classic age domination with our immortals uh, and see where we go from there. We've got a pretty interesting start here. We've got citrus and coffee on the map, as well as a couple farm tiles and another plantation. So culture from plantations pantheon looking pretty decent for us. I think given given the terrain, we've analyzed this a good bit on stream. If you aren't following my stream, twitch.tv slash the game mechanic, come join us live in person on the internet. Um, I think I think I'm very committed to this coffee settle. Game recommends settling in place. I hard disagree with that. We want we want two two tiles, we want production. Uh, and so settling the coffee gets us extra culture, which will get us to things like code of laws and uh, more importantly. Uh, political philosophy early on this is this is one of the early classic era breakpoints we want to hit our immortals plus our early government plus a general pretty much right away right um so not only will we get that but we'll get extra culture within the city and it'll expand our borders quickly uh to, to so we can get tile improvements and things like that so uh but the first thing we'll do here is move the warrior onto the hill hopefully there is eventually iron on one of these naked hills here uh, and then maybe maybe settle the cattle with our second city Not the hilliest map. We're not on new world age, but uh, I think I'm liking this I think I'm like we found another hill here too and more water as well So we're some so we're somewhere inland and centralized which which I like I like a lot I don't think there's anything that would change my decision in terms of settling first. I don't want to go on this hill. I'm hoping to double move with the warrior next turn. Yeah, and now we have tobacco. Now we have tobacco, yeah? So I'm pretty committed to plantations as our pantheon. That's a lot of extra culture. Triple, con like if you don't know how luxuries work, our each continent has four unique luxuries, and we've seen now that we have tobacco, citrus, and coffee. So three of them are plantation-oriented. Seems like that's going to be a thing. So here we keep the culture in our city center. We have a 2-2 two -two to work. We'll expand to the citrus and or the rice before anything else. So we might have to buy a 2-2 two -two here. We might have to buy a 1-3. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but by making this play, and we do settle one plant... Uh, P potential plantation but th but the upside of this and and the culture will accumulate before then makes it worth it plus we save ourselves the rice tile so that we can unlock the eureka for plantations uh Arai, thanks for the follow so the real question then begs do we want to prioritize plantations first and go pottery into irrigation or do we just need to go find our iron Don't know about the uh, plantation pantheon. The perfect settles on the luxuries. Yeah, but I don't have a lot of two two tiles around them, right? So like, what's the point of extra growth if you have bad tiles to work? So I think I'm more so on that. Yeah, I I think I think iron first as well, because we need to make sure we have this. And if we for some reason we don't have it in our cap. We're going to need to find it and settle it really quick, right? Not to mention I want to get generals going and get our um, get our early war on, right? So let's start with a scout. Working a 2-2. Two -two. Things are going well. Let's go. <sighs> this is a little awkward because there's not a double move available to us. So we could cross the river and just scope out the lands that way. It's okay. Yeah, and, th and the city doesn't have to go here. It could go anywhere. Go animal husbandry for more potential tutus. It, that is a fair point as well. These three tiles could be horses. Uh, and then that could, that could lead us to expanding to those early on. There's certainly an argument for that. Hi, Chimera. I'm doing well. How are you, friend? How's it going? Lots of resources. Oh man, see, yeah, there's another coffee tile, which which is certainly settleable. But 
I, I, I'm liking, I'm liking all these resources. We're feeling good about this. Happy Thursday. It feels like a Monday to me. Might find huts with advancements for irrigation. Yeah, true. True, too. Desert. No city states. Is there a wonder I'd like to be near us? Giant's Causeway would be an ideal situation. Um, but we didn't curate the wonders at all, so no idea what's going to be in this game, and there are only four of them. More, more than anything, I would love to have met a city state by now, but uh, that's just not happening. Feels like a Friday to you. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, let's go down here. Didn't I remove? Oh, we created a leader pool, but I didn't actually set them to the sieves. So it's a free for all. Oh, boy. Oh boy. That's uh not great. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Yeah, coupe incoming. Oh man. Took the time to curate a uh, leader list but didn't actually set the leaders. I blame chat. Good news is so we can see what he wants for this. That is not much of a deal. I am not interested in doing this. <laughs> That's an oopsie on my part. <laughs> it's true, white and nerdy. I can't I can't I really can't blame chat, but I'm going to anyways. So we really need to get a city like right here, I think. ABCs of, of streaming, always blame chat. That's absolutely true. Better him than 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 Mapuche for sure. But this hey at least it'll make for an interesting game, right? go north with the our initial just in hopes of maybe finding some goody huts yeah even more plantations is there is there any benefit for an immediate surprise war for better scouting not on deity because he remember he starts with tons of warriors and and units and stuff and if we surprise war him and he's this close to us we're just signing up for him to just kill us hey on spot how you doing buddy <laughs> in before Samaria shows up, I, be, better Samaria than 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 this guy or uh, or Mapuche, frankly, for for my money, anyways. Good evening to you, friend. Hope you're well. Everybody, go follow Onspot. Onspot's awesome people. Great Civ streamer. Does multiplayer shenanigans. Probably wouldn't exchange capitals with him. I could see an argument for that as well. This looks like an amazing city down here. Look at these hills. Look at this city. So good. Like, nice growth in the floodplains. Lots of farmland here. And then just hills. Hills, 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 hills. Super, super good. Dorks, what's up? <laughs> Thank you for the nine months, friend. Thank you for the prime. Very happy to have that. Pro streamer tip. When all else fails, blame chat. Very happy to have that and very happy to have you here. Thank you, friend. Thank you very, very much. Yeah, this is an amazing city. I really hope we can grab it before him. It's certainly going to be an act of aggression. And then next turn we'll have the XP and we'll be able to do this. And the reason, the reason that this is going to time out beautifully, not that we could have predicted it, but the reason that this goody hut is going to time out perfectly with some scout XP is because we settled the culture. My man. This is Pod Champ. Thank you for the follow and welcome. So let's make sure we change the policy before grabbing the Goody Hut. We want Survey in so that we can get extra XP from that. Uh, and we'll we'll start with God King. I, the, there's an argument for production and skipping our Pantheon for a while because the AI shouldn't take 
plantations. Um, but I think we'll get enough early-ish plantations that let's let's unlock it. <clears throat> let's unlock it. I, I don't know where his cities are. How am I toggling? Number keys. Number keys. Number one is religion. Number two is continent. Number three is appeal. Number four is settler. So I am constantly hitting four while I'm scouting. Oh, there's his. There's his cap. I didn't even notice it. I'm a dum dum. It's fine. Uh, and then let's grab this with extra XP. Military tradition is not necessarily the Eureka I want, but it's the one we got. And we're, we're population two. I don't have an amazing second tile. There's some argument for buying like a 1-3 or a 2-2 two -two here. But I think I want, I might want to save for a, for a uh, builder. Yeah, it's super. Like, this is an amazing city. If I can beat him to this spot, I'll be very, very happy. Now, let's check out what he's got already. Because remember, the AI basically gets three free cities. He's got them already. He's got these cities already. Not interested in trading whatsoever. I, I can't see loyalty or any sort of pressure. So maybe he went maybe he went away from us. That would be ideal. Following you from a settler point of view. Interesting to say the least. Awesome. Thanks. Thank you. I appreciate it. Pop champ. Welcome. Ooh, I, I just didn't, I didn't mean to do that. Cancel. All right. Um, three turns till this scout. We have code of laws. Traders are particularly valuable on Persia. I do want the builder, but I think let's go foreign trade first. Are you on my continent? You are. Okay. All right. When you find yourself in a hole. Okay, so, well, that's probably from his cap, actually. I don't really want to go there. Let's go this way. Booyah! Thank you for the 27 months. Welcome back with that Prime sub. Thank you very much. Let's start putting science into bronze working. I really do want to find the iron uh, and unlock our encampments. No, hero. They don't. Not finding them. Uh, yeah, exclamation point mods, uh, Green, Lan Green Lantern. And the one, the one that you're looking for is extended policy cards. You're welcome. Yeah, we're running some quality of life UI mods. They make me happy. I want to, I want to unlock the road to his cap, and then we'll clear out this barb camp. You need to be happier? Need is a strong word. All right, there we go. Do that. Go move here and then sit here and then maybe go onto the hill and attack it from this hill. Okay. All right, settler time. More mods equals more happiness. Oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yes, more mods. All the mods. No city-states is incredibly disappointing. But we've got a neat little section of the world, seems like. Oh, there's maybe a city-state. I'm sure it's not a first meet anymore, unfortunately, but we'll deal, we'll deal. Yeah, I, I was thinking about it. My problem is I really, like, the gold is very, very valuable right now. And that first builder is incredibly important for us. There's there's definitely an argument for, for buying this. And and if we would have, if, if, I, if I wanted to do that, I should have done so a while ago. But I think I'm saving my money. For a builder. 
More barbs? We have three barb camps already. This is disappointing. Okay. All right. Continent split. That's great. That boosts our foreign trade, which we were teching anyways. We also discover Beowulf. Kieran Ryan, thank you so much for the three months. Welcome back with that Prime. Really love those Prime subs. Thank you very, very much. Kaguana, and it is a first meet. That gives us even more culture. That's an excellent advantage for us as, as one of our main early priorities is political philosophy. Very, very happy to have that. And thanks for the Primes, friends. Those really do help me pay my bills, whether you, whether you think they, they do or not. Early Empire, okay. I'll take one swing, and then we'll heal. This is extra XP. So we have a, a full level now, and we got more gold. Excellent, excellent. Um, Probably just going Alpine. There's an argument given given the current, uh, current landscape to just take Ranger. But I, I much prefer Alpine. In the vast majority of situations. So I'm going to go with that. Even, even if it's not perfect for now. Okay, we've grown to our third citizen. And it, and th now this is something you do need to pay attention to, right? The game wants to default us to this because this is the most potential yield. But we're building a settler. And so working a, a, a pure food tile like this, it was already questionable whether or not I should have been uh, working the, the three one. You saw me sort of debating between between both, right? But I was I was willing to let it grow in four turns. But if you let it grow in four turns only to, to work then a food tile, you're doing it wrong because we're gonna lose all of that population. There's really no point in working the food. So what we want to work is the two two, the three one, and then a one three until we get the settler done. Sir Kane, thank you for the follow and blue to noob. <laughs> uh welcome in. Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Ooh, is that another continent? Yes, it is. All right, and then we found the twins in Heroes. <clears throat> Still haven't found the city-state. Again, I don't think it'll be a first meet, but we'll see what happens. That's the positive aspect. Nope, it is a first meet. And it's Kumasi? Sometimes it's easy. Sir Kane, thank you for the Prime as well. Oh my goodness, thank you for the follow and thank you for the Prime. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Very good to have you here. Somehow we got two first meets on this. This is incredible. And Kumasi and Kaguana, the combination of this is just ridiculous. Ridiculous. Kaguana's tile improvement is going to be such a nice compliment to our own uh, Peredizia or whatever. I need, where's Paisley? Paisley, can you teach me how to pronounce Persian things? Narrator. She can. All right, looks good, looks good. There's, okay, so do I want to put in, I already have one scout level. I don't have any XP on this. I'm going to continue north just because I know there's a whole nother continent up here. The wicked king pursued the lovers, Juan and Maria, on his swiftest horse. This looks really good for a culture game too. Who was taking bets on if I'd go domination into culture? Seven tall hills and the king was slowed. So that gives us an astrology boost. That's not that important for us. But boy, there's a there's an interesting uh, settle there. Okay, fair enough, Paisley. And we got a full level off of this. So I have two leveled up scouts, and I have many, many barbs to deal with. So I'm going to take out survey and put discipline back in. And I'll continue to work towards our pantheon. And then we're taking Alpine again for sure. Because we've got a hill to move on to. Not to mention those. Gonna, gonna keep healing. Barb trading has gotten a little bit harder over the years. 
Yeah, it, it, it's hit or miss whether you get first meets and stuff like this. Like, honestly, even finding the foreign trade Eureka can can kind of be a crapshoot sometimes. Um, I'm still interested in buying my first builder. I think after this settler, we're going to build a monument by a builder. So I think I'm headed towards early empire to maybe get a third city before we start thinking heavy war stuff. I have a feeling there's not much down here, but we're, we're still sort of obligated to explore it. Forest fire. And look at look at the look at the plantations. We've got tea up here as well. Not to mention triple. Did we find our fourth luxury? Oh, we did. It's silver. That's not that's not a plantation. That's not a plantation at all. Alright, now I'll trade. Hmm. So this is deserty and jungly. So this is equatorial, potentially. So I think if I go too far north, we're going to wind up just in the tundra. So I think I'm just going to go west. And we find Mulan, and we find Hunza, and we get our political philosophy Eureka as well. This is a first meet? That is a foxy tile, if I've ever seen one. After the forest fire. Alright, see if we can sneak through here. Where are the other AI? Don't worry about it, we'll find them. We'll find him. Or we'll pivot to culture, like I said I wasn't going to do. Should have paused before making making that fox pun. Oh, baby. <laughs> hey, no. No. Rude. This is my barb camp. So we get to move here for free thanks to the Alpine promotion. This is why I like the Alpine promotion because we'll we'll get better vision on the hill versus trying to sneak through it, right? It's not a lot, but little things like that add up, especially early on in the game. Like again, we'll be able to move here for free. I think I'm just, because we're so close to leveling, right? And I have the barb policy in, so I think I can I can handle this and this. Although I, I have a feeling Gaul's just going to clear this. So I could just back away and meet my settler here. I almost want the level on this warrior though. I think I'm safe. I'm pretty sure I'm safe. Yeah, see Tundra? I'm fortified, though. Yeah. Now, the real question is, can I survive another attack? Yes? I think yes? Well, I can't level up here though, is the problem. I have to move to grab the ca to grab the camp. I cannot move in and promote there are woods here. But I think I can survive one more attack. If not, it's pretty bad, but I'll deal. All right, sneaking around Hunza. Man, this map, look at look at all the potential seaside resorts we could have. Look at it, look at all of this. Look. Just look chat. Seaside resorts. It's fine. We're doing domination, dang it. All right, don't die. I hate when you die. Yes. I love when you don't die.
I'm still taking Battle Cry. And then we'll just move. I could have just moved and promoted later, but. I sound disappointed. It's just it's just funny. It's just funny because your best laid plans in Civ dot dot dot, right? Like anytime I go in into a game with a lot of expectations, I feel like the game punishes me and I'm supposed to just pl play flexible and stuff. Triple, look at this city too. Yeah, yeah, there's a barb camp there and there's a barb camp up here too. Daniel with the prime. Thank you so much for the 27 months. Could be cultural domination. Yeah, it could be. I have this Eureka within grasp. I've already killed one barb, right? Or it killed itself on me. And I have multiple other camps to take care of. So is this the point where I where I decide like I need my builder to do something? Which, by the way, we just unlocked. Ooh, do I buy the trader? It's the trader's a little risky given the uh, barbarian situation. I still think it's builder. And then that could be our whole Eureka right there. All right, so one, two, three, four. No, I want to go here. So one, two, three, four, five. So the settler will go this way. Builder goes there. We get started on a monument. I'm just going to cross the river. It's not a great use of our movement. But I don't really want to go check out the tundra up there. I want to find our, our future targets. What? Oh, he has double silver. Okay. It's a Pangea map. Alright, there's our bronze working Eureka. Let's finish teching that. Oh, and what tiles are we working? Yeah, that's fine. Ooh, we got our one three. We finally expanded to this. And we expanded to this naturally, by the way. I didn't I didn't have to buy this and this. Because because we have the extra culture again, right? Sir Kane, I, uh, on Deity, I really recommend that people worry about, like, if you're playing standard speed on Deity, I recommend trying to get about 10 or 12 cities by about turn 100. Turn 50 is, is a little bit m a harder question to ask or to answer because it depends on what you're trying to do with the game. Like, we're probably only going to have three cities around turn 50 uh, because we're going to do domination things and we're going to have a plan to get more cities. Like Polish cities, per, for example, just as a hypothetical of cities that we might own at some point. Um, and so it, it just varies. Like if you're trying to go pure econ, like you do want to crank out cities. Uh, but I worry more about turn 100 than turn 50. On standard speed. All right. Um, you. You. five gold per turn to trade our luxury and we have our builder we're we're getting our luxury uh our, our irrigation eureka right and so we're going to be able to get more luxuries i'm pretty sure i'm happy trading this for some gold at the moment and she's got a she's got a nice hat got a heck of a hat and she knows two other sieves so we should be finding more people this era for sure It's a crown and not a hat. A crown is a type of hat. All right, there's irrigation. Yeah, it's going to want to work this now. I kind of agree. This is too good to not work.
Yeah. I don't know. Growing in six seems appealing to me. I do need to get another settler out of my cap, though. So I don't know that, that forcing the growth actually makes sense. Yeah, I do want to work that. Let's leave it like this. Once we have the gold on the plantation, we'll be good. All right, so she's down here. She's doing a Georgia impression. And it looks like maybe coastal. Muscat. Uh, let's go up and around. Should be all right. Is Persia good with religion stuff? Uh, religions can often benefit Persia, especially if you do want to go the cultural route. But they're not specifically attuned to it. I wouldn't go out of my way for religion with them. Uh, unless you you really are doing culture. Culture games, religion just kind of helps. I'm worried that he's going to declare on me. And kill my warrior. And then I'm in bad shape. We also... Ooh, that is an unfortunate uh, raiding party that's headed our way. I didn't notice that we had a scout find us. Maybe the scout found Kumasi. Because I don't have a ton to do with this builder. You know what? I'll bring the builder down here. And we'll improve the uh, citrus tile. No, actually, well, hmm. Because there's going to be iron. Yeah, I'm going to ta take the chance that this is... That we'll improve the citrus and this iron tile. No, not switching from a Monument to Slinger because we're about to have the uh, extra production towards Barbs, potentially. Awkward. Awkward. All right, he backed off a little bit. That makes me incredibly happy. All right, so there's iron here. There was not iron here. Not extra production tor towards barbs. Towards units to kill barbs. Sorry. Misspoke. Misspoke. Alright. I'm going to improve this. We're right here. But then the, the last charge goes towards the iron. And then we go towards irrigation. All right. I'm happy to heal my scout here for a sec. And then we'll heal the warrior in the city center. We grab... Uh, oh, I don't have the luxury unlock, do I? I, I? I'm still working towards plantations. Derp. What a derp I am. All right, well then, let's go get this. Since we have time to kill. But that's definitely a derp on my part. There we go. How close are we to growing? Four turns, I can get the early Empire boost. Yeah. I think I want that. I'll go one more turn into it. How much coffee would you say is too much coffee? Asking for a friend who looks remarkably similar to me. No such thing. You're good. <laughs> Five words. I hate wasting. I think I have one more turn there. Just barely. Just barely. And then we'll put one more turn here. Three turns on growth. Three turns on the monument. There's more iron up here too. We've got a couple nice settles to our north. More 
Polish cities, I think. One more turn here, and then we switch. Boop. Okay. Uh, we'll throw that here, just so we're not wasting any culture, because these Eurekas are going to be gotten. Two turns until border growth. That'll work. Hey, Themis. How you doing? Ah, I am sorry you're having a rough week, my friend. We are here to help and support you. I hope you're doing okay, all things considered. Uh, this is scary, man. This is incredibly scary. Alright, we'll finish the monument next turn. Alright, as long as they're not, like, beelining me. Five Gassette. Oh my gosh. Nobody tell him. Nobody tell him that he can absolutely wreck us if he wants to. Oh, we're going to get the pyramids too? All right, we'll get this next turn. Yeah, we can, we can certainly use, now that we have our monument, we can certainly grab like a Beowulf and that would help a lot. Uh, I'm, I'm tempted to start cranking out a slinger or two. I'm also tempted to grab a mon or a, uh, an encampment. To get our generals moving. I think I want this trader, though. I, this is a pretty greedy play on my part. But sometimes you gotta be greedy. All right, so irrigation into ironworking. I've ever tried too many hours in an unsavable run. Uh, I haven't done a lot of like fix my fix my save games. I'm not totally opposed to it. I just haven't. Kristina Sveriges drottning, patron av konst och litteratur. Hälsa jag en annan kunskapsälskande person. Yeah, I'm scared of Gaul. I'm very scared of Gaul. We specifically took them off the map because they're so scary. Uh, but I forgot. I, I, I'm, I'm an idiot and I forgot to uh, change the leader settings. Best way to fix a save is to restart. You're not wrong. You are not wrong. Oh. What's this? Archer? We can get an archer. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Kebble Remortals? Mm-mm. 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 I'm pretty excited about that. So one, two, three. One, two, three. And then this has the potential of getting pillaged by barbs. So let's just go get this one again. I would like if you'd be so kind. Okay. Just in terms of exploration, let's go ahead and buy some open borders. Alright, we can policy switch here. 
It's going to get pretty close, and then we'll start producing some units with extra production. I do need to bring this war. I, it's really, really scary abandoning this city. This barb camp got cleared out. It's really scary abandoning this city. Boy, he doesn't have a lot of room, does he? There will be there will be blood, friends. There will be blood. This looks pretty good. It was luxuries like in the interest of our future wars, I'm going to scout his lands a little bit more than I normally might. That is an interesting government plaza. And we have our first governor, too. So what do we do with that? We, we just unlocked our Pantheon so we can go into production and uh, unit production, which is certainly my plan here. Um, however, what do we do with this first governor? Is there a chance I need Victor? I could also take a Suzer in here and, and try to get a levy or have them help. PB, you go Pingala? This is a tough call for me. I'm not totally sure. I might save it for a turn and just see see exactly what he's up to if I can. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. We we've already got an extra envoy here, so we just get mysticism, we soothe them naturally. Uh but then Amani here and then here would be a bunch of era score. I would make a grilled cheese, Valks. That that sounds better than a frozen pizza to me. Grilled cheese is delish. Yeah, there might not be a wrong answer. Basically, just going for culture and science without having to build anything else. Our cap is decently sized. But it's triple promotions. What a hard choice. I'm going to save it for a sec. Just because I'm not totally sure. Alright, we do get our pla our plantation pantheon here. I don't think there's much else worth considering. Regardless of what the AI has taken. Like, Craftsman is usually fine on games like this. Yeah, that's that's the thing, PB. Without without uh, without societies, it's it's a harder choice. It's a much harder choice for me. But I, I don't think there's anything at all competing with plantations. We've seen so many plantations on the map, right? And then we're about to get that kicking in right away. Hello, Trajan. Augusta e Roma Imperator Caesar Traianus Sum. Qui ses? Sure. So interesting because this is this is such a, a map to just kill him and then do culture stuff. Because we have this big barrier of both mountains and city states in between us. But I'm pretty happy putting in urban planning, and I'm pretty happy... Oh. Oh, next turn we'll get another policy switch. So I have to leave this on for now. I don't have a gogi yet, but I will soon. Yeah, it's true. Although I'm going to have a weird government plaza in my Petra City. <laughs> for no reason. Although it'll go away if I've got my own, right? So I guess that's not even a thing. Not even a thing to worry about. Um, I 
Does it always go away, even if you don't have one? Let's grab Mysticism. I can grab this Suzerain, get all the rest of this land uh, revealed. And then we'll uh, we'll get our other boost. I still don't know what to do with this Governor. I think you're right, PB. I think you're right. I'm going to Mani. And I think I go Hunza and then uh, Kumasi. Because I, I think I want Amani there long term. For our trade route potential. Oh, this got cleared. Is the that just got cleared. How about it? Alright, and then we grab this. Oh, one more turn. One more turn. Things are slightly awkward in terms of timing. But it's fine. Found Hercules. Found another goodie hut as well. Ooh, they got a lot of warriors. Okay, that could help us out a lot, given given a, a, a declaration of war. All right, one more turn. Cl somebody claimed Mulan already. Interesting. I think I just want to... Well, where do we want to road to? Maybe Kabul. I don't really need this road. I guess a war road. It's probably just the war road. I was thinking the Kumasi bonus would be really, really nice. But we'll get an extra trade trade route, right? So maybe it's war road. Is this the war road that matters? This one's slightly more interesting. Because we get the road like here across the river. Otherwise, it's here. I guess, I guess this is fine. Yeah, that's what I was looking at is the bridges that we get here, right? Like a bridge here and then these bridges even. You think this with the better yields? There's an argument for that. I think I want the war road though. I want the double I want the double. The problem is is if he doesn't make a road between these, it's going to be quite awkward. I guess it's awkward either way. I've got at least 8 turns before the Kumasi uh before the Kumasi route is available. And we get an extra trade route capacity at pl Political Philosophy, which we're going to be at pretty quickly. So I think by the time we have this the Kumasi culture ready, uh, we'll be able to send out another trade route. And I think in the meantime, we, we build the war road. Yeah, I think, I think this is a little bit better, just for the bridges. We don't take advantage of our Persian trade route bonus, but that's okay. Uh, and then we do this. And we start making a couple units. Do I take... Uh, I don't need a hero now. I would very much like an encampment as well. The encampment just goes here. Yeah, Herc for encampment, that's certainly an interesting argument, right? Yeah, let's sneak in Herc. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. 
I'm going to go ahead and grab this with the warrior, even though our problem is to the north. And are we still denounced? Oh. Let's see if you're... Alright, we can scout the rest of his lands now. He does not have much. I don't want to end my turn next to this slinger. Alright, we are a little bit long. I'm into this game. I'm having a wonderful time. I hope you all are too. We're going to put a cut in the video for now. Thanks so much. If you're watching over on YouTube, don't forget to stop by twitch.tv slash thegamemechanic and come join us live in person on the internet. We'll see you then.